Hi everyone. So today we're talking about 1 Corinthians 13, which is all about love. So our prayer, we're going to ask God to help us with that. So today's prayer is a repeat after me prayer. So I'll say a line and then I'll pause for you to say the same line over. So let's start. Loving God, please be with us, especially now when life is so different than it was. Help us to be patient and kind like you are with us. God, help us not to be grumpy with our parents and siblings. Help us to be happy with what we have. Help us to have faith when we are afraid and things don't go our way. But most importantly, help us to love others like you love us. Amen. Thanks for praying with me today. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hello again, and welcome back to Storytime. It's good to see you again. Well, this is a special Sunday. Does anybody know what is happening this Sunday? That's right. This Sunday is Valentine's Day. And you remember that Valentine's Day is a day that we get to tell people that we care about, like your mom or your dad or grandpa or grandma or aunts or uncles or cousins or friends or teachers or coaches, how special they are to us. So I've chosen a special story to read this Sunday. It's called Little Blue Trucks Valentine. And it's by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McElmurray. Let's read it, shall we? Little Blue Truck was on his way delivering cards on Valentine's Day. Blue felt happy. For the truth to tell, he hoped he'd get some cards as well. Blue drove into Hen's front yard with a polka dot egg-shaped Valentine's card. Blue said, beep, and Hen said, cluck. What a perfect valentine little blue truck. Pig's pink card said, please be mine. Beep, said blue, happy valentine. Oink, said pig, a pretty pink, just right for cards and pigs, I think. In his red barn was big brown horse, and blue brought a big red card, of course. Nay, said horse. What is this I see? A card almost as big as me. His card for cow had a big bouquet. Beep, said Blue. Happy Valentine's Day. Moo, said cow. What a treat. A card that's good enough to eat. Duck was out for a nice cool swim, and Blue had a special card for him. A heart-shaped sail on a little red boat. Quack, said Duck, my card can float. Last two cards for goat and sheep with candy hearts. Beep, beep, beep. Ma, said sheep. Sweet card, Blue. Ma, said goat. Mine is too. Blue headed home all the way. He tried to be glad it was Valentine's Day. But Valentine's Day didn't seem much fun when he didn't get cards from anyone. Blue was sad. His own front door was open wide. Home at last, Blue drove inside. He couldn't believe his headlight eyes. Everyone yelled, surprise, surprise. Together now, croaked Toad, let's hear it, quack it, cluck it, Oink it, cheer it. Hip, hip, hooray for friends that true. You're our Valentine, Little Blue. That was Little Blue's Valentine by Alice Shirtle 
and illustrated by Jill McElmurray. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope that you have a really great Valentine's Day. And remember, you're very, very special. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. This Sunday, February 14th, is a special day. It marks Valentine's Day, which I know you are all excited about. Hopefully, you'll get a Valentine's treat. I hope you've made some Valentines to give out to your friends, like we talked about last week, or to give out to your family. Today is also a day called Have a Heart Day. Have you ever heard of that before? Have a Heart Day is a day that was created by the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society. They say that every child deserves to have a happy and healthy life, and I couldn't agree more. What kind of things do you think make a happy and healthy life? Having a family, big or small, that loves you. Gathering together to get to sing and tell stories. Preparing and eating delicious foods that come from your family's background. Using recipes maybe that have been passed down, like your grandma's favorite cookies. Living on land where your family has been for many years. Every, kids deserve, every kid deserves that. And lots of kids, including Indigenous kids, have that. Some other important things are comfortable schools close to home, clean water, drinking for drinking or for bathing in, good medical attention, and someone to care for them if they are home for a little while. Every kid deserves them, but not every kid gets them. Why not? A long time ago, non-Indigenous people thought they knew what was best for Indigenous kids. This continues to this day, and they don't recognize Indigenous families and communities and how that they can best take care of their families and kids. Because of a thing called the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, governments are beginning to change their minds about this, but we still have a long way to go. So on this Have a Heart Day, which is February 14th, we're asking you to make a Valentine. So you can make a Valentine and put it in your window and pray about it and think about all of the things we've talked about here today. I have a special little prayer to share with you. So what were the things that you would need to build a valentine? Maybe paper, glue, stickers, some of the things we talked about last week. You decide what you need. I am sure that your big creative brains will come up with something lovely. Our have a heart day prayer today goes like this. Dear God, we know you love all children the same and want us all to grow up healthy, safe, and strong with our families and in our communities. Help us make sure that everyone has a warm home, a safe and comfy school, clean water, and the people who love them and care for them. Help the people who make these decisions, make them out of love. In Jesus' name, we pray together. Amen. <laughs>